Online resources change over time, and as the content changes, ordinary web links in papers and on websites are unreliable. How can you know the content stays the same and your reference is valid? Online resources can be moved over time, which breaks links and references from outside. To mitigate these problems, the FAIR data principles call for managed use of persistent identifiers PID. PIDs are guaranteed to remain usable, to be persistent, and they are globally unique, i.e., each PID has only one target. It should never change or be reused. Nobody else in the world should use the same string to refer to anything else. A PID can identify anything, a person, a publication, an instrument, or an organization. A PID should remain unique. In practice, this means that a PID has a controlled syntax and a governed namespace, generally consisting of a namespace indicator, prefix, and a local identifier, suffix, and is issued and managed by a clearly specified registration authority. A PID should be recognizable as a PID by its intended user, be it a human user or a machine. Few objects are actually completely persistent in the long term due to inevitable societal and technological changes. This means that all PIDs need active curation once published to ensure the trustworthiness of the PID system. When you use a trusted data repositories, you get a PID for your data. To create reproducible research, you should be able to cite to the exact dataset you have used in your research. Citing data works similarly to citing a book or article. It should include the name of the creator, the dataset and the publisher as well as the data itself. But you should also provide a link to a landing page with metadata. When you cite your data with a PID, it's sustainably linked to the article, the authors, the publisher and any funding authority. By using persistent identifiers, both you and the research community benefit from the FAIR principles.